12 system hours until Germany Festival. Petaconi's Germany Festival has entered its countdown phase. Don Ho. Accompanied by Clocky's TikToks after 12 system hours. All right, let's see who dies this time. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to die this time? It looks like it's Don Ho. Oh, don't, don't scare a little pom-pom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fluffy. I really have something urgent to attend to, so I had no choice but to resort to asking this favor of you all. I have versus, like, their novelty is insane. Man has the bullet as an earring, the reticle in his eye. Like, holy. My name's Boot Hill, and I'm a galaxy ranger. I reckon that'd be one fudging sight to be old. This is gonna be a thing with him all the time, huh? Never bully the weak. America. Never kill the innocent. These oaths aren't some lofty beliefs, but the fundamental bottom line that one must never cross. Oh, really? Well, that was kind of hard to believe when you holding a gun to his head five minutes ago. And that Acheron... <sighs> Who knows what she intends to do? <laughs> I don't intend to do anything. That's, That's not up to you. you. Huh? Did you know? People who come to the land of dreams for the first time, they'll subconsciously stop to reaffirm that they're still walking on solid ground. That bird is back again, and who who was that talking? Panacone's dream master. Panacone's dream master. That's just another reason that you can't stay. Why is it always a kid? Whether you believe it or not, this is a real me. No, it's the bird. We are one. Bird is the word. Is this explain all the victims Gallagher was? Is this the unity that the family espouses? Try and me. You will die. I mean, all of you will. Nah, I'd win. But that won't come to pass. I'll do as you ask. I'll leave. Oh. Okay. It'd be hilarious if she already left and he's still talking. Akira. A befitting name. Take it from someone on the Just other side of the so-called river. You know better than I do that Panacone has already deviated from the harmony. Whatever your intentions may be, I foresee only one outcome. Uh oh, caught. Its future holds nothing but nihility. Just like all the worlds that have drowned in their shadow. Hmm. Nayak shadow. Yeah, it's, 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 she's like, I'm leaving. Oh, shoot, Robin's POV at the same time, Attention, Golden Hour. Please. The unusual event that occurred moments ago was due to a technical malfunction at Clock Studios theme park. The family has promptly responded to secure the area, and we're happy to report that there have been no injuries. Oh, I swear that was no movie shoot. So many chips fell from the sky, and I even caught one of them. But it vanished in an instant before my very eyes. Hey, this guy sounds familiar. Well, there you have it. There's the Robin dance. It's official. Some I suppose vibes. I should keep on helping everyone. I am the epitome of joy, kindness, and goodness, after all. Uh, huh? What was I just doing? And uh, who might you be, miss? Hmm? Here, take this, <gasps> little guest. This gift has been specially prepared for you by the family. What? Make sure to take good care of it until the opening of the Charmony Festival. Then, when the show reaches its climax, press the button together with the others around you. <laughs> you never know. Something very exciting might happen. Golly, man. She got me. 
That was like perfectly timed where I was where it all began. You entered the golden hour from this place. And it is also from here where you will enter the true Pentaconi. This is a rapid fire. It is a pleasure to journey alongside you once more. But it's time I lay bare <laughs> the entire truth before you. As you might have heard, I also go by another name. Stellaron Hunter Sam. A very awkward pause. Are you, are you good? I'm fine. Sorry, I hope I haven't scared you. I know you have many questions. Do you remember when we encountered death in that strange dreamscape? When I was caught by that meme? Oh, how could I forget? In that instant before it killed me? I saw the reflection of another dreamscape in its ghastly pupils. Another dreamscape? So, following the clues in the script, I came up with some theories about the meme. <laughs> That's why I instructed Silverwolf to issue invitations. Drawing everyone to the Dreams Hotel. Clues in the script. LAO script? I intended to call upon death before you arrived. To solve the riddle using more direct means. And then invite you to join. However, contrary to my wishes, I couldn't defy the script. And I, I didn't get a chance to explain it to you. You're trying to do it on purpose and figure it out after this. But we got there just to see what happened before. It is and how you see now. I was impaled by the bladed wings of death. The heavy pressure of concentrated memoria, miasma, exploded in my mind as if it was actually reality. Hmm. This is how they can they can get you so good with like Havers games because it's live service, so you can just do something like this and people are just stuck with it until the next patch, you know? Then you can explain, oh, this is what actually happened. But after the momentary numbness subsided, I found that my body was absolutely unscathed. What? I was still alive. No. And it was just as I thought. I, I had arrived at a place starkly different from this beautiful dream. Beneath the dreamscape of Pentaconi lies another, more chaotic, more primal memory zone. Its name? The land of exiles. exiles. And so, uh, then I returned to the hotel in the dreamscape, hoping to tell you of its existence. Yet I, I, I could not reveal my own identity. Oh, because so the other people were there. Only divert your party's attention and lure you away from the battlefield. Mm, wow, that was a lot to unpack. That you just didn't get a chance to tell us. You had us real confused. God? I never knew you could do this. What the heck is that? <laughs> Firefly and Blade go into the club. Or, no. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's happening here. Going to handle some business. Going to a business meeting. Mm -hmm. Do you have a driver's license? I didn't know you could drive. I do. Huh. That is... surprising. I wonder how that went. Why? Because this is Chapella, the city of sins. Yeah, I want to know more about her significance to the Stellaron Hunters. <laughs> no, it's nothing. Oh, shoot. Dang. So when he wants to die, he wears a seatbelt. <laughs> oh, no, Blade. That's that's so true. Oh, yeah, that's how I was like, like, how does that work? Is it, is it the same thing? No matter where you are, you gotta be 16 and, you know, file for your state's driver's license. <laughs> they have to take it like a ID picture. Glad to see you're safe and sound. We are just 
everywhere. Look down and pray that this world has no fall damage and then take a leap of faith. How fun. I'm coming back next. <laughs> Boxes and ladders. There's so many, there's so many like fun achievements. Just the most random things. By now, let's see. Here we go. Oh, okay. An afternoon's worth of sitting. What are these achievements? Get like a little investigate symbol. Oh, what the heck? What what is this stuff? Oh my god, there it is classical party treat. It originated from a nightmare invoking pickled cucumbers. What the heck? Authentic Sosa juice. Original recipe for so glad. Oh, what even? What, oh. Classic fast food from Penicone. You're not talking about the memory zone meme, are you? <laughs> Don't say that name! It's all your fault. They're coming! Oh. He was serious. He passed out. <laughs> His intense negative emotions attracted the nearby memory zone memes. <laughs> that was a great cut. <laughs> it gets to that. He passed out. I never imagined. Oh my gosh, that's Cyrus. Details here. The watchmaker, Mikhail Char Legwork, has passed into that endless, timeless dream where no sound could ever awaken. Sure enough. The watchmaker is the third nameless. Even I could guess that one. Looks like a statue. <laughs> Stressing out about it won't help anything. Look at that! Look at that stance. You're back. Two guests just boarded, saying they were looking for Boot Hill. Two. So I told them to wait in the parlor car. Oh, just in time. Pom pom. Two guests. Yeah, her too. Look, we welcome all passengers Hello. on the Avenue Express. But sneaking in like that, you have no regard for etiquette. My apologies, Conductor. It was an oversight on my part. First Black Swan appearance. I assumed you were already acquainted with the Garden. My name is Black Swan, and I serve the Garden of Recollection as a memo keeper. As for Acheron's story... Brace yourselves. I'm sure she knows it better than I do. Greetings. I'm Acheron. Don't do anything rash, Boot Hill. Calm down. What? You garden of recollection shirtbag. Shirtbag. I apologize, but she did that at my request. Due to certain reasons, I have been exiled by the family. Thankfully, this memo keeper came to my aid. And helped me escape their surveillance unnoticed. Son of a nice lady. You think I'm dumb or something? Son of a nice lady. How about this? I'll put a few bullet holes in your head and see what secrets spill out. Then we can talk about trust. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm willing to answer all your questions, but not right now. If my cover hadn't been blown, we might have had more time. But at the moment... We don't have any other options. God, he's gonna, well, he's a robot, but I was gonna say he's gonna break his back saying it like that. Is that from now on? Son of a nice lady. No other options. What do you mean? This is the only way I can ensure everyone's safety. What are you about to do? I kindly request an immediate warp jump out of the Astana star system. <sighs> if this is what the departed ones expected, should we try to change it? I weep for the part. A good question. And a profound one. I don't know the answer. <laughs> she asked the question, he said, That's interesting. It's a very good question. A profound one at that. I don't know the answer. Not me. Back to Robin. Just figured out all of that. We're back to Robin. Nine hours before <laughs> Sharpity Festival. I have sinned. Please forgive me. 
I wasted half a pizza at breakfast and a bottle of Soul Glad. Waste the bottle of so glad. That's uh the worst crime yet. That's it. Nothing more. Can we wrap this up? I've got a robo ball game to catch, you know? <laughs> cool. Execute it. Do you seek to atone for your sins through good deeds? My sins? Starting to sound like a saint, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Neither the family you nor you have the right to judge me. This is a kid talking. How oh, I envy those everlasting things. That old man's story. It's so tragic. Fortunately, yeah. this sweet dream gives him joyful memories to hold on to. For the rest of his I life. get where she's coming from, or like the angle she's trying to get at, but I mean, no one's gonna agree with her angle from her from their perspective. That's precisely why this sweet dream in Penacony exists. However, See, someday gets it. Even this sweet dream has its limitations. While it provides solace to the disillusioned. It can't completely eliminate pain in reality. Yeah, but it can for now. There will be a way out. Panacone is already on the right track. Hold the phone. Look what we have here. A lovely young lady. Wait, is that me? It's Sparkle. Brother, what a surprise to see you again. Dang, I totally missed the the inflection of the voice, you can tell too. God. Show yourself. Your trick won't work on us. I've heard that a skilled mass fool received an invitation too. Vote that her must out. be you. Right? Barely. The people here are way too gullible. A little bait is all it takes for them to <laughs> And they run away at the slightest hint of danger. In other words, they're naive and cowardly. Sparkle is such a little gremlin. Now that you've had your fill, it'd be wise to leave before it's too late. The music of the harmony doesn't tolerate discord. It's a little troll. What? Now that you have the real Robin, I'm useless? Oh, how disheartening. I've done so much for the family. A little joker. You should be thanking me. Because if it weren't for me cleaning up this mess, Penacone would still be in shambles. Don't you think? It's like she is, but she isn't. Like, she does... I don't know. It's not, like, bad things on purpose, terrible things. It's actually very beneficial things. And, quote-unquote, good things. To make things move smoothly. I mean, even going back to the whole Sampo thing in the beginning... I don't them. care what you're thinking, chicken wing boy. Oh. But I'm pretty sure that <laughs> Robin won't be appearing it's on back. stage. After all, you're well aware of what a sorry state this dream state is in <laughs> under the banner of harmony. That sounds so bad, chicken wing boy. <laughs> Hanakoni, the land of the dreams. Is this truly the paradise you desire? I think Mr. Wings is a lot more funny. Mr. Chicken Wing Boy. Mr. Wings is funny, but Chicken Wing Boy just sounds... It just sounds... <laughs> disrespectful. Stop it. Stop! <laughs> What's the rash, Chicken Wing Boy? You said it again! Did I get to you? Our paradise is none of your concern, Master Fool. <laughs> Leave now, or the family won't tolerate you anymore. Am I crazy? When she said tolerate, that sounded so robotic. What was that? That sounded so... That sounded like they put AI in there to fix it. All right, all right. I'll go. I, I definitely, I, you know, I would like for us to be able to do what Robin's saying, but Sunday's just kind of being realistic of like you know basically saying like we can't save everybody ladies and gentlemen welcome to scorch sand hall this is where challengers thrive and dream chasers shine all under the watchful eye of the entire universe if you have ambition dream and the drive dear friend the next superstar of pentacone's charmity festival could be 
be you. Oh, wow, they've really outdone themselves. Oh, I'm starting to get excited. Behold, here come four friends with spirit high and full of zeal. Are you aspiring to be the superstars of the festival? Yes. I got every announcer voice sounds exactly the same. I'm the director of Soul Glad's Factory. You're the same guy my four friends. we were talking to Introduce before. Introduce yourselves to the audience across the cosmos. With Robin and Sunday. Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Himiko, a nameless from the Astral what? Express. And these are my companions. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't you guys need to hide your identities? Nope. I can't hide it anyways. Panacone is plastered with our posters. And because Music is the Astral Express is so well known, the family won't dare to make any rash moves. Hello. I'm Baseball Man. Hello everyone, I'm Hello Everyone. Yes. The trailblazer is stupid. Yeah, <laughs> totally, totally different idea. Whole different one. So glad, make your dreams a blast. That was no energy there. I only see, oh, dang. What the heck is all this? There you go. Let's do that one. The oh, baby, yo. Crown you on the stage. Oh. Welcome to the arena of action stars. Jesus. Didn't think he was gonna have a voice. Bubble Hound who's been forced to play a monster. God dang. Oh, look at this zone. Oh shoot. It's cool. It's pretty cool. Stand still. Music what are you is for? bumping. And This is top tier acting right here. Pretty simple. <laughs> I just hope these tests don't take too long. To safeguard the integrity of Soul Glad, I will soar high into the sky and become its shiniest star. Whoosh! I think the, the dog got me. The dog was the best one so far. None will take my Soul Glad away from me. I will use the transmutation arcanum to turn into a dinosaur. He already did. Oh, dinosaur, devour my enemies. Grab a bottle of soul glass and make your Christ. dreams a blast. <laughs> God dang. The body withers, but the soul glad name shall not. <laughs> You truly are a beast, more than I can ever be. It sounds like they just got like a producer or like someone in the office to just like, hey, can you come over here and do a voice for these dinosaurs? <laughs> that should do it. Okay, let's go. Mr. Gang is waiting perfect. for us. Perfect. Are we drunk? No way. I think I just saw someone. Someone extraordinary. Oh. Yeah, that would that'd be uh. That's a good fit. I didn't even think about him. Didn't even think about him. Oh, he lost his voice. But the glorious light of beauty, I sh never thought I would see you again in the turbulent times. Your kind faces are a spring's gentle breeze. Are you a knight of beauty? <laughs> oh, Adrilla the beauty. Adrilla the beauty is the most peerless beauty of them all. All right, Argenti. Bear witness. 
congratulations to the both of you. Sunday? The festive superstars of this year's Charmony Festival. I, on behalf of the organizers, extend my sincere congratulations to you. Wishing you joy under their radiance. He's acting as if the past events didn't just happen. <laughs> what are you doing here? You already worked things out with the Dream Master? Well, I get our sincere congratulations. Where are my stellar jades? Both I and the Oak family cannot acquiesce to your request. <sighs> Concerned. Just as expected. We acknowledge the perspective of you, Nameless. Panacone does require change, but not as you propose. Question. Have you devoted your life to your god? Oh, here we go again. Worshipping other gods. Let the questions begin. Yes, no, yes. Naturally. Oh, oh, naturally. Naturally. Never. Naturally. Never. They have seen your faith and have endorsed your faith. With this, it can be evidenced. Just a moment. Whoa, you can't interrupt him in the middle of his illusion. What is it, Mr. Yang? I have another question I hope to have answered. <laughs> well, it's like, hey, oh, hey, hold on, wait a minute. To my understanding, the family's harmony and prosperity have never relied on so-called divine laws. It's kind of point. Did you eat my last slice of pizza this evening? Naturally. So this is how it is. <laughs> Take out that, that stick. For the sake of our grand cause, Sunday, please afford these two an opportunity to rest. Say what? What? Sorry, Robin. It's just you. I did not wish for you to know this. It's a pity that things have turned out this way. Don't hey, don't make me call Gallagher. I'll get all it'll get you again. So this is the true reason I can't sing. The shadow that envelops Penacony is actually We were never children of the harmony. <gasps> Our ideal paradise could not have been crafted by Shipe. True bliss can only be guaranteed by the one who transcends the many. Within the foundation of law, humanity establishes civilization, and through harmony, we obtain order. So their god is Rex Lapis. Unbelievable. <laughs> to think that there would be remnants of the order on Penacony. What have you done with Mr. Yang and the Ms. The order. Robin? Don't worry. I just gave them some time alone to ponder their fates. Something that we'd never considered was that this bird's fate had already been determined long before this moment. Its destiny was determined by our momentary whim. Now, I pass the power of choice to you mm -hmm. all. Faced with this situation, what choice would you make? Stick to the original plan and build a nest with soft net where the Charmony dove fell. Or build a cage for it and feed it, giving it the utmost care from within the warmth of a home. I eagerly await your answer. The bird's, the bird's fate is sealed no matter what. What do you think, Acheron? <laughs> oh, so the actual, there are. I can't decipher his intentions right now, but based solely on that question, I would probably choose to build that dove a cage. Even if I was going to release it back into the sky, it'd have to be strong enough to fly first. Hmm. If I left it where I found it, I fear it'd never get the chance to fly ever again. Okay. If it were me, I guess I'd 
choose to build a cage for the little Charmony dove. After all, leaving it there, it's bound to get hurt by wild animals or something. And no. that would just be too sad. Fate is sealed. No matter what happens, his fate will remain the same. To the question, I would personally choose <laughs> to build the little Charmony dove So cage. everyone wants to build the cage. No special reason. Yeah, everybody wants the right the right hand side, but I think if you build a bird nest there, why go through all the trouble of feeding it and you know building a cage for it if its fate is sealed? Assuming you know the fate, his fate is sealed. I'm gonna go with build a bird nest on the spot because this was the original plan. As for the choice you made. I am deeply sorry. Honestly, on this one, I kind of just want to see. Well, is he going to tell us? He's going to tell us what happened on his end because that's what he went through. But I would like to know what happens on this side. <laughs> Everybody's going to say the right one. Story. If I acted out of kindness, I would probably ask the bloodhounds to stop their pursuit and lend him a hand. But yeah. what cruel repercussion would this choice result in? I'd probably choose to ask the bloodhounds to cease their pursuit. So everybody's pretty one-sided. This the, the nicest option. He sold his kids to chase a dream. Even if he intended to go back for them. Oh, hold up, March. Still insanely irresponsible. Hold up, March. With that thought, there's only one choice. Let the bloodhound send him back home. Oh, we got a... This person deserves to be punished. Okay, March. We got a different opinion on this one. I agree with March. Let him get punished. It seems you, like me, are pondering whether a different choice no, not would have like led you. to a better outcome. Oh. Sadly, his fate would only be more tragic. <laughs> Would you still support Robin's journey on the path of harmony? Support Robin to go on her journey or stop Robin from going on her journey? Hmm. I don't really know on this one. But would you ever back away? Would you stop March and Don Hung from reaching their next destination? That's a good point. I believe you have an answer of your own in your heart. Yeah, this one's just extremely subjective. I, I, don't, I don't know. I doubt he'd wish harm on his own flesh and blood, no matter how great. <laughs> Pursue the hunt. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Can't believe that happened to Miss Robin. The strong defending the weak is a great mantra, but. If I had to pay such a price, I... I don't know what I'd do. Yeah, once again, I'm kind of with a march. We must teach the weak how to live a happy life. And this life isn't some noble propriety that the upper crust preaches, but in definitive terms, a way of survival that belongs to everyone. I guess that's the angle. Teach the weak how to live a happy life. So what is your definition of living a happy life? Yeah, if anyone should be asking, it's Firefly. Huh. Good question. Human consciousness is fundamentally an illusion. A cage known as self-worth. People lured in by this illusion make mistakes, yet still ask that external influences bear the burden. True. When you got Saturday and Sunday, and you're off work on Monday, you know, it's like a long weekend, or you're off on Friday. Take some time to relax. From where I stand, society's ideal system should be seven rest days. Following Sunday, <laughs> there should ensue a second, a third, and indeed an infinite procession of Sundays. Is that why her name is Sunday? This should be the face of the new world. Idyllic. <laughs> Eternal, peaceful days. From now on, every day is Sunday. Every day is a rest day. <laughs> and thus, every person can return to their now base it makes selves sense. in this utopia. 
Some gaze in reverence at the stars. You know what? Pouring their whole beings into calculating the distance between us and the isolated world of Pagana. Meanwhile, some seek refuge in quiet corners, holding one another, unencumbered by the chains of unwelcome obligations. Not really... Not really opposed to it. I've been a sip of this line in the whole game since they're talking about Sundays. <laughs> Every day is Sunday, yes. Yes. <laughs> Your name is brainwashed you. My man, I think, uh... I hope that's his, like, his actual birth name. I mean, no. It's gotta be something else. I mean, Robin's Robin. I have a last name, though. Hmm. I also never met anyone in my life where their name was a day of the week. There would be no need to bear the hardships of reality. Only in this way can humanity face the inevitable end with the purest of spirit. Living a life of dignity. Hmm. This is what it is to live in bliss. Well, it's taking the angle of, I mean, like, no pun intended, but, hey, like, literally... Every day is Sunday. Like, no joke. But living in bliss, just being able to have dignity. Not have to worry about survival of the fittest. But, it's not gonna happen. If it could happen, yeah, I don't know. It sounded convincing for a second, but the more he went on about it, Although I picked my choice already, so now I kind of fed into this. What is the price to attain all this? 25,000 jades. The cost is minute. Merely a personal and eternal sacrifice. Hold on, what? If this paradise is to be maintained for everyone, someone must remain trapped in solitary wakening. Hmm? Until the end of the cosmos. See, this is where you went off the rails. You know, it was it was good, but you know, it seemed like it was you were looking out for people's intentions, but now you just, yeah, no. Awakening, which means that this so-called paradise is still a dream. Stepping into this paradise means forsaking reality, correct? I mean, unless it's you, Sunday. Unless you're the one that's going to be internally trapped. We'll leave it to you. Yes. Just as yes. Mr. McHale instructed before. Tell him our choice. Oh. Let's be able to actually pick. Darn it. What is this place? Does this place ring any bells, Misha? Hmm? I... I don't know. I feel a sense of deja vu. A while ago. When did we do this? What is this place? I think it's that guy in the the guy in the light cone. With clocky and like the old nameless. It's it's the Astral Express. Oh I, wait, no, Grandpa. I remember now. Oh yeah, so it's the father. Grandpa's friends are a group of nameless who came to this world to resolve a disaster caused by a star. Father and grandpa? Then he gave his pocket watch to me. It was his cherished treasure. Peering in every one of his adventure tales. He explained that difficult times were ahead. But mm. assured me that the watch would guide me. The Kale Char Legwork. Or simply, Misha. That was the same last couple names for the watchmaker. If you prefer, you can call me by a more familiar name. The Watchmaker. So, you're the Watchmaker himself? I knew Misha had to be some extremely important figure to the story, because he just, he was so sus. Not sus in a bad way, but just, he was like not talked about so much that he had to be something of importance. But his, the guy in the chair who was Presumably passed away. That was his couple last names as well. It's no more. Oh shoot! Hold up. I'm only a reflection, reflection of his life. life. 
As for the child who has been with you, he's the innocent protagonist of Misha's childhood dream. A friend of Clonky's. His face. A young apprentice. And a future mechanic on the Express. You're just a reflection of the real one? And this also marks the beginning of his journey. Devoted to the trailblaze. Let's go! At the end, end of, of the, the journey, journey, I left this little flame, which I so, so cherished, cherished, in, in my, my deepest, deepest dreams, dreams, hoping to pass it on, on to the, the nameless of future, future generations. generations. Do you speak in, like, now in the present time, or does he mean before, like, going back to the light cone? Mikhail Charlie work. Someone has to step up and save the Seafair Mikhail. So why can't it be me, Misha? Yeah. Every night we boarded the compass. And set sail and together. Set sail together. But you know what? It wasn't until the day my grandpa gave it to me that I realized. It wasn't a pocket watch at all. Wait, what? It was a compass. Oh. So, your name should have been Compassy. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad that wasn't his name. <laughs> I like Clocky a lot better. So I thought it was a clock, but it turns out it was actually a compass. And immediately named him Clocky, assuming it was a clock. And the watchmaker is just, just a, a nameless. Hmm. <sighs> Broke that down. We've arrived at Dream Flux Reef. So, where to next? You know, Clocky, I don't think I'll be going anywhere else. Wait a sec! Hmm. Casually walking to our chair? This is empty right now? You can swap characters. Adventuring sat in the chair and became the new watchmaker. Do, 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 do. I've traveled far enough. And it's time for a little break. Time for a permanent break. But did, he, did he look at it and he thought it was a clock even with the the uh, N-E-S-W on it? <laughs> I guess. Maybe he was too young to realize it? Such is the essence of clockwork. The will of the, the trailblaze. trailblaze. <laughs> Clocky's hands spin around non-stop, indicating confusion, frustration, and weakness. What the heck, come from? ultimately... People still need to move forward. Just, Just like, like your, your hands, hands. Always pointing ahead. This oh, is where was. my journey ends. From now on, it is your path to walk. Oh, shoot. Trailblazing means taking paths your predecessors forswore. Oh, and shoot. Even further. <laughs> The Peniconian Mikhail's dreams does not belong to order. Oh, wait. Oh. Why are they going to show that? And that's how the Trailblazer got their vision. <laughs> I can't believe that Eon would cast a glance at Peniconi at a time like this. Is it because of the resonance from the legacy of the Trailblaze? Or... Where's the hat? the bond between you is so strong that it even impresses an eon. Where's the hat? My immersion! Well, there might be another possibility. Perhaps they want to witness, on behalf of the fallen eons, who will hold the future of Peniconi. That's a great point, too. Hey! Oh wow, that looks really good. That looks. Oh yeah, and that too. There's another harmony character. <laughs> now we we are harmony. 
Nice. Alright, so this is... What do we do? Sure, let's check it out. A little trial right in the middle of the, the quest. Increases the break effect of all allies, causes additional break damage when allies attack enemies that are weakness broken. Huh. Oh! Oh, this is actually, this is... It's so like, uh... So novelty. Oh my god. <laughs> we need a strategy. Budget Rod May. Shoot, I'll, I'll take that. That's another imaginary. Nice. Time to test our rapport. Look at the pose. Literally Michael Jackson. It's my turn. Oh. There we go. This is cool. This is I like how they don't show Take this positions. at all in the live stream, so it's like a whole it's like a new reveal. Dreams do come true. Oh, it's the power of no dang. The, struck. the power of Glocky. The mood is set just right. The pose is crazy. Let the show begin. Wow. Clocky takes his hat off. I love how it's all Clocky themed. As it should be. Dang. Super break. What the heck? Execute the Marastruck. Super break. Nice like a good crew. Full what body the heck? my friends. Super break. Hold up. This is going to be really freaking cool. It ain't over yet. This is this just like scripted because it's the trial or is this actually gonna be what it's like <laughs> what do you mean super break holy 26 percent and after attacking the enemies the weakness is broken yeah super break oh <laughs> dang surely Where are you getting 369 from? Hello? Is that even possible? Can't see what set they're using. Memories of the past? Alright. Yeah, I definitely want to build this. Holy. Yep, it was. There's a watchmaker one. It's the watchmaker one and the... Kingdom of Ben Bandri? Bandri. Farewell, everyone. May your trailblazing expedition never end. Where are you going? Huh. I dreamed of a scorched earth. Everyone. Oh shoot. Are you ready? A new shoot mm. sprouted from the earth. It bloomed in the morning sun and whispered to me. Oh, you hit the thief! Bring fireflies to a flame. My feet is death. May, May we, we meet again, again in reality. reality. Dude, that is such a <sighs> sick transformation. Oh, we're back in the car with him again. Oh, it was just getting good. No, that was sick, though. Wait, I forgot to pay back your 20,000 credits. I actually didn't even... I think I only took a little bit. But, dang, that's cool. I like, I like that, like, very uplifting Star Rail theme. Or, sorry, not even that. It was the uh, Robin Song theme. I think. No, I'm losing my mind. Never mind. After today, Japella's name will disappear from cosmic history, and the Everflame Mansion will take its place. In the not too distant future, you'll receive an invitation. <laughs> what credits? I didn't take the picture, I didn't make any credits. That's your next stop. Land of the dreams. Pentagoni. 
Panacone. Do you exist just to perish? Are you, you not do. the same, Blade? The end you desire is not one dictated by others. If I were to die now, I would only be a weapon. I believe I should die as a human. I can't. Here's to you. A glass of hello and goodbye, trailblazer. I was going to say a glass of wake the heck up. That have been messed up. To the imperfect tomorrow. We raise our glass. Goodbye and hello. Or hello and goodbye. It's warm here. Isn't it? You're lucky to have found shelter from the rain. Let alone fresh berries in this desolate place. Who is this guy? You can go back. Oh, and he's still there? <laughs> I was just following the scent of life. Is that bird talking? This is a crucial <laughs> moment for us. So, where is the chosen one who harmonizes the varied sounds? The chosen one. So originally it seemed like uh, Robin was just like the so-called singer, but obviously now she is called the chosen one. Dream Master. Ascend to the heavens, becoming the scorching sun. Wings, anybody? Bathed in my light. Oh. My people shall flourish, while all evil shall be eradicated. 07 to uh, 107,000 of the Oak family. Two hours. This is the interior of the Penacone Grand Theater. The Sting of Death. Ooh. Dang, it really does look like the Hersher of Dominus. Or Control. Oh, what's that classical theme to it? Stage play act one, Ode to Prisoner. Where are we now? Oh, shoot. The atmosphere here looks similar to Sunday's inner world. Perhaps this so-called stage play is created with his abilities. This act is named Ode, Ode to, to Prisoner. Prison. It is cool how they have us like... Oh, wow. It's cool how they have us like playing through it. It's nice. Oh, what like the heck? This land of freedom on a scorched earth. As you can see, their sentences have long ended, and the IPC guards have long been expelled. Yet these prisoners remain enslaved, not by external forces, but by the confines of their own minds. Freedom permeates every corner. Except fragile souls. It gives solace only to those who believe in its existence. Prisoners, this is my order. Hmm. Learn the essence of freedom and teach your fellow prisoners to fight for their lives. That's a cool looking enemy. Hey, why do we have to fight while enjoying the show? For I desire not only your enjoyment, but also your assistance in its completion deals massive physical damage yeah it, it really is they add they add they mentioned that was a mandatory feature the music was really good too dang <laughs> oh now I just thought back to the White Knight trailer with uh, Aventurine and Kalis dancing. 
It all Address. comes. It all comes back around. Ah. Uh, this show is a bit too literary for my taste, but the battle part is quite easy to understand. <laughs> anyway, we've arrived at the exit. Let's go. March the uh, actual game gamers mindset. What's this gonna look like here? Oh, to fool. It's the masked fool segment. No. Oh, to fool. This must be the second act. The Black Plum family was the first to fall. They withered away in the White Desert event, orchestrated mm. by the Alfalfa. Because family. Master shaped you from the Black Plum flint fl the fire. Black Plum family was first to die in the white desert hmm oh i beseech your aid in purging this mansion of the poison spread by the lurking instigators this is like a messed up ghost rider what was that Act number three. Ode to order. Oh, I get it now. The last scene is all about singing the praises of the order. And the atmosphere here is completely different from the previous two scenes. Yeah, I was gonna say. Looks nice. This is the concluding act of this play. I have showcased the past and present of Penacony, hoping that my desire for change resonates within you. Sounds very peaceful. Oh shoot! I meant to hit the. I meant to do the skill, with the normal tech. Can I just go back? All right. I'll see you guys next stream. We'll be back tomorrow. So, oh, what the heck? Farewell, former king. That's terrible. We no longer have need for a king. Restore his HP after being attacked. Oh no. Not as cool as the first two, though. I like the um. The uh, like guitar legs. Um. The singing. One system they hour. the world with meaning. Is darkness equal to daylight? Are sinners equal to the righteous? If you are born weak, which god should you turn to for solace? Uh, ooh. The past, the present, and the internal show. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was two lives, eh? Shoot. Watch your head. It's so funny to get to like see the effect res pop up. It's like something's supposed to happen, but it's just like, eh, nah. I already know your decision. I now permit you to gaze into the sun. On these one hundred and seven thousand three hundred and thirty-six stones. The almighty and powerful strings of harmony are at my disposal! Oh, they all make the giant one? Harmonious choir! Who? 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 Dorminihus! Holy! Come and meet your master! The embodiment of the harmony? So, the true purpose of the Charmony Festival is to usurp it? Hmm. But they're sure to take damage. Hit! Noisy! 
Oh, no, I'm going to do that. Shoot. I already hear the I already hear that guitar. Stand still. I already hear the guitar bumping. <laughs> Disorderly noise. Didn't hurt. Let's turn on the thousand seven hundred three six to zero. True. Ooh, wow. All right, this is actually not bad. Lightning, fire, and uh, imaginary. In the still waters of noisy, I'll take it. The wandering souls. Good times. Never last. Break that shoe. Oh, no, you didn't. Why is it perceptive as you are? Answer this. Uh oh. Why All right, let's break it. Go, go, go. <laughs> Watch your head. Watch your head, there's coins. I weep for the departed. Will this break the first one? Mm, maybe. Oh yeah. Dust rain. Not the whole shield though. I'm feeling like there's another world in front of my eyes. It's the power of tuning. Don't let the song distract you. Don't let the song distract you. Can't lose this one. Nobody resonates. Workday without God. All things are part of the melody. No dirty tricks. Can he fail? He still hit me. No dare you. Poor that Sampo, what the heck? Done. It's always him. Existence is fleeting as the dawns do, destined for oblivion. It's always Sampo. Despite the preservation character. Oh, okay. Watch your head. Disorderly noise. Disorderly noise. Sounds like more business knocking. Uh, Try you doing? this on for yes. size. Disorderly noise. What are you waiting for? Finish the deal. The customer is king. And for me to portray the After king this? well, you gotta make it worth my while. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Chindale. I weep for the departed. All right, emanator, take him down. <laughs> You done so. Sunday. What's the matter? Time has come. Creation will be reborn from the remains of the gods. Ooh. Hey, they knew right immediately. Radiant spirits. Heed my word. Dang. Show no mercy. Woo. Came out of nowhere. We, we we knew he had a plan, but dang. Well, that was easy. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. Hey, wake up. The sun's frying your butt. What? Oh, are you oh. all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? Uh, no. Why does that line sound so familiar? Uh, it does? Well, doesn't ring any bells to me. <laughs> Zing you in, but a lot of, uh, a lot of rooms and hotels that comes out of dreamscape. <laughs> I don't know how, I guess they got hauled, jumped, jumped on the ship? That happened so fast, too. <laughs> Mr. Chicken Wing Boy. Looks like your mind's still in one piece. Yes. If you're able to remember such details. Well, that was quick. That's reassuring. So what happened while I was out? Uh, it's a long story. Simply put, 
Don Hum used the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath when we were in the middle of a fierce battle and summoned the general to help us just in time. I'll be honest, uh, you know, Don Hung, I feel like that wasn't necessary. I feel like we had it. You just used your, your one time thing. I feel like we kind of had it, you know, we had it going. And then we returned to reality. Look, this is your room. Oh, yeah. Everyone else has also returned from the dreamscape. Himeko and the rest are at the lobby discussing matters with the general. And now that you're awake, we should tell the crew that you're all right. Come with me. <laughs> all right. Not going to come chat with me, sleepyhead. That voice. What? Is that Black Swan? Where's Black Swan? Oh. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to Black Swan. Where are you going? Hey, we meet again, sleepyhead. What? What's Miss Black Swan doing here? Miss Black Swan. Nothing, Miss March. I noticed she was awake and wanted to check to see how she was doing. I'm just using Sampo until Black Swan reruns. <laughs> Though the strike from the general was timely, its destruction was also immense. When emanators collide, ordinary people inevitably suffer. But luckily for them, the dreamscape is my home turf. Thankfully, I managed to get everyone out before the harmonious choir collapsed. Collapsed and like fell on, all, on top of all this. Oh, so that's what happened. Uh, thank you, Miss Black Swan. Thanks, BS. Don't mention it. After all, I wouldn't want to see such precious memories vanish. You're heading to see your friends, aren't you? Would it bother you if I walked with you for a short while? Look, he's still talking to that cowboy. Cowboy? You're awake. How do you feel? Well, fork me. Fork you must spoon. be that Stellaron they were talking about. Fork, huh? I prefer a spoon. <laughs> Allow me to introduce oh. him to you. This is the first time I'm hearing about this certain person. Who are you chasing? And why would that lead you to the express? No, no answers. <laughs> was it again? Uh, don't hunt. You actually <laughs> forgot? You weren't you hunting her down? I don't know, man. You're looking kind of sus. No, that ain't it. I just can't seem to recall. <sighs> Wait. Oh, yeah. My neurochip hasn't registered any malfunctions. It... Huh. You can't remember can't because remember the power either. of nihility. It makes you forget. Uh, what's going on? God, thick. Forget about it. If it slipped all our minds, reckon that person was just around. a minor scoundrel. Unimportant. Yes. When the dust settles, I'll just think of a way to recall it in the memory zone. Everyone. Let's hurry up and look for Miss Himigo, shall we? If it isn't the Galactic Baseballer, a true hero who dares to take action. Long-term considerations for interastral peace, and by authority of Pierpoint HQ, the Strategic Investment Department, on behalf of the Interastral Peace Corporation, will permanently relinquish its claim on Penacony sovereignty and offer unconditional support of the family's rebuilding efforts on Penacony. What'd you just say? Or is yours for the final oh, resources well to Enlighten us. Where is Hanabi? She was like the best part. Ahem. Looks like everyone's present. Let the navigation meeting commence then. This a meeting to decide our next stop? <laughs> How we doing this? Show your hands. hands. Oh, wind and blue. Hold your <laughs> horses, cowboy. It's for those to decide. Hold your horses, cowboy. What entire nation are you guys doing here? To that? The first choice is from Himiko, the oceanic planet of Lushaka, a planet composed entirely of water. Uh, Many aquatic races reside there. Of course, I'm it's good. also the home planet of the Venero 
adorable, nameless Mikhail. Let's say I don't want to go to another water place. Here we go. We already have physical and wind element in our group. <laughs> it's true. Yumiko, please. Consider the other ones. The second choice is the Agate World Melustanin, suggested by Welt. It's famed as one of the initial sites of the Stellaron disaster, and the place where the beauty Idrilla ascended. Today, it's celebrated as a planet of undying allure. Oh, I like the sound of that. I like that. The third choice is Edo Star, a planet nestled within a vast ion storm region, currently under assault by the Antimatter Legion. However, the distress signals from there have recently ceased, prompting the IPC's wish for us to check in on the situation. I'll be honest, sounds like we're going there then. Attention all passengers! The Express is about to make the jump! Hold on, Pom Pom, -pom. we still got a... Hold on. We still have a patch left. <laughs> it looks like we're finally about to set off. There are countless gleaming memories out there waiting for us. Why don't we just... We still have there. some business no. left in Panicone. Ah, that's right. As a small token of compensation for playing that little trick on you with the empty light cone, I will gift you with some words. They hold great significance. I'll gift to me. you with some words. Life is akin to a winding labyrinth where memories serve as our sole companions. Time marches forward. Heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. Marches forward? I mean, it can't be the end yet. There's so many unfinished things. There's still... <laughs> lead actor. There's still, like... Still things to do left. There's still a whole patch. Question mark as March 7th. Oh, her actual name. That's confusing. Oh, Kakavasha is adventuring. Cameos, Topaz, Jade, Argenti, Jingyuan is in the Alliance. Elio, scriptwriter. And loving memory of. Oh. We still need, like, uh, what happens to Sunday. Like, how does Countless work? shooting stars streak the sky tonight. If you can pick the right one, it will carry your wish to thousands. I want to know what happens points. with Robin. We actually have like a real Charmony Festival. You're feeling very relaxed now, aren't you? So, then. It's time to tell you a little bedtime story. Hmm. Well, let's start with oh, a conclusion. Yeah. The crew was defeated in the battle against Sunday. Everyone in Panacone failed, and no one survived. Ooh. Hmm. Also, the Annihilation Gang? But don't panic. The truth... As horrifying as it may be, is not yet irreversible. There's still a glimmer of hope, and that's why I'm here. Where did Firefly go? Next, I'll use this empty light comb that carries all your memories to relive everything that happened before. And when this story reaches its end, I'm sure hmm. someone as clever as you will notice that. There's a major flaw in the story you have experienced. Oh, really? Yet, within that flaw lies a glimmer of hope. Are you ready for it? Do you remember everything? When the clock turned back, the Express started a warp jump, sending you to a strange dream. You were bewildered back then. And then a galaxy ranger named Acheron showed you a way out. Mm -hmm. When you arrived at the Reverie Hotel, you met the doorman Misha and had a confrontation with a Venturine, an IPC representative. Thankfully. Thankfully, Acheron appeared again and helped you. After that, you saved Firefly <laughs> and explored Panacone together. During the tour, you ran into Sparkle disguised as Where does Sample, Sparkle go? What does Sparkle do? entered a child's dream. What was the thing that Sparkle gave to them? 
There, I rescued both of you from death, but Firefly didn't return to reality. She realized the truth and tried to involve you in her plan, but that resulted in an accidental death. Even more unsettling, you soon encountered another murder. The two cases of death prompted you to investigate the truth behind the sweet dream. Sweet dream. Despite your efforts to gather information about the two victims, you didn't make much progress. But you did learn about the Watchmaker from Gallagher. Meanwhile, Aventurine was secretly carrying out his scheme, in which you were one of the pawns. In the midst of a fierce battle, Acheron revealed her true identity as an emanator of the Nihility mm. and unsheathed her sword. That strike foiled Aventurine's plan and opened a passage between the Sweet Dream and the original Memory Zone. Upon your arrival at Dreamflux, you split up with Sunday oh, and Robin, looking for a way to seal the Stellaron. However, it turned out that Sunday and the Dream Master had their own hidden agenda. That and you had to engage in hidden. the ultimate duel on the stage of the Charmony Festival. Finally, the story reached its conclusion. You emerged victorious, with the Trailblaze triumphing over the Order, and Penacone embracing a bright and peaceful future. Hmm. This marks the end of the thrilling journey in Panacone. I'm sure you've already noticed something, something unusual, unusual, haven't you? A little bit. The major flaw, which contradicts all the known information, hides in this story. My first encounter with Misha at the hotel, I was attacked by a sparkle disguised as Sampo. The fake deaths of Firefly and Robin, Akron and Sheathra sword to reveal the power of Hility. Death is in the skies of dormancy. Major flaw. Hmm. Little Misha. Or should I call him the Watchmaker? The watchmaker. He is only a segment of memory in a dream bubble, but his ambition for the Trailblaze led him to leave the bubble and embark on a grand adventure in Penacone. Well, Misha is a rather special memory zone meme. And he was granted power by the trail plays. There's still one thing that he shouldn't, shouldn't be, be able, able to, to do. do. A life born in the memory zone could never manifest in reality. So, why did he appear in the Reverie Hotel? Yeah, that's what I said when he reality? when he first showed up. I was like, if he's if his home is the bubble, then yeah, how was he in the hotel when he was explaining it? How did he? The answer is simple. He is the one fatal variable that contradicts mm. all our known information. This means that you, who wholeheartedly believe in this memory, are still trapped in the dreamscape at this very moment. Oh, don't tell me this the whole time we're there. Wake up, sleepyhead. Break free from this eternal dream. Don't tell me we were here the whole the time. World. We'll find our answers there. Don't tell me it was all a dream. The train is about to make the jump. Are you Five, kidding me? Four, three, two. And I said that too. I was like, what if this is all a dream from the beginning? Bro. Oh this gosh. Way, darling. What is going on now? What is going on now? Not another one. Another one? Thank you so much, Black Swan. <laughs> Finally, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Marotta did it. Madara. What happened? The deja vu is strong with this scene. 
I understand you must be confused, and we'll do our best to shed light on the situation. However, before that, what it's essential to know that this place is the rift between dream and reality. A place reserved only for those who have awakened from Enna's dream. Do you remember Sunday's ambitious plan? He intended to harness the power of the Stellaron, the collective will of over 100,000 mm -hmm. Oak family members, and the desires of everyone in Penacone to usurp the harmony and restore the order. Chibane, do they still have an hour left? I knew something seemed really off about, that just kind of ended a little too fast. It seemed like it wasn't right. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. From the early days of our journey into Asdana, we were already affected by the Stellaron. That strange dreamscape where we met. Maybe it was a sign that your thoughts were beginning to drift away. But maybe not in the way that I thought. All this just a dream? Did I fall asleep on the express? I'm now back at the beginning of the story. I don't think the goal of the Order was to put everyone into a deep sleep. Quite the contrary. They used the Stellaron to catalyze the leakage of Astana's Memoria into the material world, allowing the dreamscape to blend with reality. Say what? Hmm. Finally, you've arrived. Let me introduce you to Robin. She woke up from Anna's dream by her own will, and it's this tough lady who led us here with her song. They, they're really... They really debated everybody. They rolled the credits and everything. I thought we were finished. Then let's take care of it together until it can return to the sky. Uh, uh huh? Birds have wings because they're meant to fly. Even uh... if they may crash on the ground one day, they shouldn't be trapped in a cage. Is it like Sunday would never say that? <laughs> Birds belong to the sky. So we should help them return there, right? So they wouldn't have that mentality? Yeah, the complete opposite. The illusion was so impossibly blissful that I realized it was just a dream. She was like, ain't no way it's here. It's the relic I returned to you. Exactly. Its owner must have told you that it's meaningless to anyone other than a galaxy ranger. That it can only fulfill its purpose when returned to its rightful owner. Because. Without the dream pool in the hotel or assistance from the family, she can only awaken from this dream in one way a real death. We mustn't fail her determination. I'm not implying that we must win this fight no matter what, but our resolve should match that of that courageous lady. Are you ready? That's the only way she can awaken when she can wake up from the dream. Mm. But not if we wake everybody well. up first. Now, please close your eyes. Mm, so this is the real battle. The real fight. Oh shoot, has to be us? Oh frick. <laughs> oh no. You know, I was. So it's you. Our time spent with one another is precious. I was almost like cannon there. Almost. Oh, we meet again. Oh, Trailblazer? I was like, Akira? <laughs> Look at the face for the Harmony one. Looks good. Any justification here for you to unsheath your blade, Emanator? Emanator. Oh. How long? Oh, gosh. Here we go again. If I remember correctly, it has lasted for decades. Or even centuries. Do you remember? He once said that the sky would clear when the regrets of the departed had faded away. But it still 
Still raining. Raining. I know. Because someone's regrets haven't been fulfilled, perhaps. And this is how it is. It will never stop raining. I'm already dead. Yes. Are you watching over me? Well, damn. This is my duty. As Acheron, the Watcher. Your duty is to just watch over the river? I'm guarding the path to the Abyss of the Nihility. Guiding every soul reluctant to become one with it. Back to this side. But if this is what the Departed Ones expected, should you try to change it? I don't know. But someone once told me that when the inevitable moment came, he hoped that someone would stand at his grave and place a bouquet of flowers. And that's when you know no more regrets are left. Even if it doesn't make sense at all. Some tasks have to be done, even if they are pointless. Please extend your hand and then close your eyes. I'll carry your wish with me and fulfill it. Only then will I be able to put an end to the final regret by the Dead Sea. Will I ever see them again? No. Yes, that is certain. Because it was you who told me about the Express, your two former companions. The expedition cut short by the swarm, your narrow escape from death, and your encounter with the Galaxy Rangers and Panacomi, the hometown to which you could never return. Yeah, for countless times, I got rejected by the family and had to pass it by, but I knew that my companion was still there. Um, okay. I can barely hear him. Are you still there, Michael? Take my hand. Oh. And come with me. A Mysterian. We'll, we'll leave this place. You'll embark on a long, long journey, shrouded in darkness. But fear not, as a touch of red will be awaiting you at the end of the path. That's the color of existence. Dang. Follow it, and it'll guide you and illuminate the way out. By doing so, you'll eventually reunite in the warmth of the sunlight. Thank you. Or Tyrannin. Tyrion. May death be the end of your boundless dream. The red text is back. It was bad timing for that. Guiding you back to the waking world. Welcome to the horizon of existence. Do you see? Always distinguish between reality and imagination. All right, Gray. Life Gray. is akin to a winding labyrinth. Where memories serve. May your schemes be forever concealed. Anna's dream is too cruel for him and everyone else. To the imperfect tomorrow. Oh, wait. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? Why does life slumber? We don't know the answer yet. But we're about to awaken from this dream. Final goodbyes? Or perhaps such is the answer itself. Leave this place. Return to where you belong. And awaken Panacone from this dream. Will you come with us? What if folks doesn't want to wake up? Will I get to witness your hidden power? As I said, our plan is not about convincing everyone to choose the right path. 
but about inspiring them to save themselves. So, when will people actively save themselves? The answer is, when they are in desperate situations. How sad she looks. Before we part ways, mm. please allow me to ask a few final questions. You're in my shoes, my friend is at 2 a.m. Yeah, holy man. Sheesh. So far, you have forged unbreakable bonds with numerous individuals and entities in the sweet dream. Holy. Might I ask if you fear severing these bonds with your own hands? I feel no fear. If there is a vast, lifelike dreamland that is virtually indistinguishable from reality, a realm without death, where everyone can attain the happiness and fulfillment they deserve, living blissfully ever after, I would ask, would you wish to stay? I would never ever want to live in a dream. So these were questions. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. I believe these were the first questions he asked us in the very beginning. And back then, I think her text was read. And we were kind of unsure. But now we are given definite answers, and there's only one option. Everyone and every face pretty freaking they cool. remember. Yeah, the 2 joy question. and the heartaches. The That's pretty freaking sealed cool. The and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I'm glad. The answer itself doesn't matter. What matters is that you've made a decision. They cooked so hard it's burnt. Listen, touch, and ponder. And therein lies the sensation. Cherish it, because that's what makes us exist. Such is the only answer humans can offer when facing the nihility. If the nihility represents the primal fear of life, rendering any lofty convictions insignificant under their imposing shadow, I think I've I think I've heard about seven thousand words today. <laughs> and behind this shadow, there must exist the most fervent source of light in the world. Just as every life that edges closer to death fervently approaches the end of the nihility, we must pursue that primordial light. That you exist in the oh. nihility. <laughs> and you watch over others to depart it. Such a task is absurd and meaningless. <laughs> Nevertheless, someone had to do it. As for the meaning you mentioned. No, we make it. Oh, it's not going back there, it's on? Please, tell me your name. Real name? Perhaps my existence will vanish in the next moment. And nobody will remember this conversation or your answer. If Acheron says uh, Rosaline or the other name that died, from the three. But I believe that your name should be remembered. And this universe will remember it as well. 
and the most fervent element amidst every tempest. Akron, tell this man your name before he dies. That's my name. Raiden Ozen Mori. May. Bruh. Bosun, Bosun Mori. And they're playing the Honkai Impact Third music. 3720? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. So this must have been, oh, I feel so bad for not knowing this prior because if this started playing and I knew this, that was like the moment to freak out right there. Oh, shoot. Right in Osamori. True. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long nights, I'm afraid you will face many setbacks and witness many tragedies. And in the end, you will only see in black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will appear once more. Oh my god. What you must do is ponder its significance, then return to the waking world. Holy. That's where we all find our answers. <laughs> Holy man, Pentacone is peak. You broken free from the dream of order. We've done enough sleeping already. There's this there's the trailer again. Call. Oh my gosh. She basically deleted the dream and forced to wake up. Ooh. No kidding. Listen to our song. This is insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. <laughs> Stand still. The callback to the song. Good times never last. And I remember everybody saying too about how Acheron is Acheron and she's the Raiden of the Hyaverse games, but her name was different. Nope. It's the same as well. Time to say bye. Our fourth Raiden? Boom. A third ride. Didn't hurt. On the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering soul. Disorderly noise. I weep this for the departed. I'm speechless. Dust oh rain. yeah. The two shall fall. In the beginning, they wanted her to leave because they were like, uh, yeah. We can't have her here. No dirty tricks. Not order. She's gonna How cause can a problem. The weak be righteous. Do these. Do these. Noisy. Better had your. Disorder. Music works. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or got three lives ago. I'll take it all. Watch your head. Oh, you actually can. Okay. Half the oh, work is already done. Oh, it's more like five. Dang. Waters of oblivion. Let's take him down the right time. The right way this time. 
Oh. Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin. Let's go, Cluffy. Say bye to breathing. Super break. All in. If you have any objection, feel free to make your case. Oh, the big shield. Eight. Holy. Oh, Dusted oh, noisy. Keep up with me. Listen up. Oh, noisy. Good time. It's time to say bye. Boom. Eight lighters. I weep for the departed. I probably yeah. shouldn't use that right there. It too shall fall. That's okay. There might be more. Three hundred and thirty-six notes. I solemnly invite you to join the glorious chorus and descend to the heavens. His voice changed. Wake up. Say bye to breathing. Let's play our. Let the show begin. Noisy. No dirt. Watch your head. Watch your head. Relax. Let's go home. Have been cast. Bronny has 15, including Bronny and Sutherland. Dang. You get a Bronny for everyone, every or game. Or maybe I'll take it off. Disorderly noise. Sarita. Bronny, for sure. The dreamscape is indistinguishable from reality. Can it still be called the Bronny, yeah. Noisy. Jesus. <laughs> I weep for the departed. Holy oh, Akron. Uh -huh. Stand oh. still. Whoops. With this perfect melody I command. Recreate paradise anew. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> Panacone's first and last disharmony. Bro, this might be. I think this might be the best they've ever written. Those imprisoned in their dreams are awakening for freedom. Listen to your sister. They don't know where they should be heading. That's why I had to become the lone star in the sky to guide them. Even if that star must hang in a perpetual night of solitude. Train slammed them. Bro, this is insane. This is insane. Oh, the soundtrack is so good. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or the guitar. Maybe I'll take it off. Awaken from your dream. Awaken from your dream. Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do. Destined for oblivion. Good times. Never left. Time to say bye. Now this is what we're talking about right here. Boom. Oh. That was perfect timing. That was perfect timing, Kafka. Was this one? Stand still. Listen to our song. There's the vocals in the background too. 
People saying hey. Relax. Super brave. Disorderly noise. Let's try to get the old back again. With wisdom comes protection. Ooh, boy. Everyone, keep up with my tempo. <laughs> So I'm gonna break Witness this. The will of the weak. Disorderly noise. Ooh, that is insane. <laughs> May as well kill. <laughs> this the song looks so departed. good, as in the background. <laughs> the real, the real battle. Dust rain. It too shall fall. Noise. Oh yeah, that shield too. Another Double shield. Journey begins. In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. If we had never experienced solitude, how could we have embarked on different paths? Now, our final talk has concluded. God, Sunday, are you gonna oh, risk your life? The inevitable day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy will reshape for us all of reality. If your paradise can save more people, sever my path with your hands. I swear on truth. All right. Stand still. Let's play our own melody. Let the show begin. Oh yeah, because of spoilers. Yeah. You're right. Here come the lyrics. Ugh. It's creepy. I don't like that face. Good times never last. Time to say bye. <laughs> this is this is gonna be on her album. Can we get the album up for this one? Seven day I command you to heed my summon. Insolent. He has six shields. Leading as the dawns do, destined for oblivion. Have a noble soul. Don't be shackled by the past. Oh, it was done, huh? Whew. It was not you who created all things. The sixth day. I weep for the departed. <laughs> Just cancel the song real quick. Just block out the song. It really is complete silence too. There's no song this time. <laughs> Everyone stop. Hold on. Take a break. Gather your thoughts. Dust rain. It too shall fall. <laughs> he never wakes up. Oh it did? Hey. Who's this one? Relax. Watch your head. Breaking that shield. Oh, he did have every weakness. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Look how big he is in that chart. All in. Ooh. 
We're finally waking up from our dreams. Let's finish him, boys. It's my turn. Let's finish him. <laughs> Did you come the still waters of oblivion and guide oh. the wandering souls? Not yet. Almost. <laughs> Stand still. Robin's going all. Listen to our song. Oh, Even if the future is full of pain, we won't escape from it. <sighs> oh no, wait, we gotta keep doing this. Oh shit. God. The order is not the only choice. True Grant the calendar. Meaning of life, lie in defying the nihility. Oh, nice! You never got back up. The seven weaknesses. It was this one. Oh. I swear, I'm valid. That breathing sensation. <laughs> Stay in the middle for a second. Everyone, keep up with my tempo. <laughs> Let's play our. Let the show begin. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. How insolent. And so I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Oh, we could have them all with us in the world. Oh my gosh. I swear on human dignity. He was broken. Oh, he did the thing. He did the thing. Assistant pop leading us the dawn still, destined for a thing. I'll take the lead. See if I can save Robin for Awaken from your dream. That shield thing. Oh, I swear on Oh, and I didn't overlap. Holy crap. Oh, I swear on the calendar. I guess you could just use it here. I wanna try and break the shield. I swear on words. Did you come here of your own volition? The still waters of oblivion I guide the wandering soul. I swear on values. Still here. The weakness of humanity cannot be redeemed by others. <laughs> We will never choose to run. And there's only one way to do this. I weep for the departed. Take us home, Macaron. <laughs> and goodbye. Dust spring. Chicken wing boy. <laughs> then it's Monday. We hate Mondays. So, why does life slumber? Because someday. Mm, shut. Oh, okay. They even got sparkle. We will wake up from our dreams. <laughs> Anything but the gnosis.
The tale of the Astral Express reaches both its conclusion and a new beginning. Time marches forward, heralding the arrival of a new chapter in the history of trailblazing expeditions. A new beginning. Another hour? What? Brother, do you think the stars will fade away? Where did that come all of a sudden? Because the constellation that looks like a bird, the torrent eagles, looks a bit dim lately. Oh, I can't even see it. <laughs> it's the torment eagles. Don't worry, it's still there. It's just it's located in the inner ring of Penacony and can only be seen when spring and summer overlap. As for the question you asked, I think stars do die, just like people. But do you know, sister? No star actually belongs to the present. The light we see from them is from a long time ago. Hmm. Even after the stars perish, their light will travel millions of light years, spanning countless years, to illuminate the night sky of another world. In our paradise, I believe there will be a star like that, shining with the same light. Its radiance will last forever, and its, its name, name will, be... will be happiness. No, not just one star. We should have two stars. Three Maybe stars, four. four stars. Yeah, you're right. It's a deal. It's a deal, then. This is our promise, and nothing will sway our ideals. Yeah, you bet. Holy moly. Now that is an ending. That is how you end Penacony. Any loose ends after that? That's fine with me. I will take that. Who? Although it's the same people. Hold on. More like untrustful boy. Now, yeah. To be untrusted. Oh, that ending was so clean. Yeah, I thought Akron was going to say that she was her for a second or something like that. But it was even a bigger drop than that. Emirates. She was a truth hunter behind the land of dreams. She was a true hunter. Okay. Yeah. No one. We don't know March 7th's real name. No one will ever know. Till the day self annihilated from this relic, truly just pure, noble, and selfless warrior. Mm, I, didn't think that was, I didn't think that was gonna be Tyranin either. I knew it was going to have some kind of significance that Akron was talking to that person that whole time. He was unable to witness Penacone's end. He died quiet. Got in corner somewhere with a handful of attendants in this funeral. Hmm. To Penacone. For now. May this journey lead us starward. Golly, man. Honkai Impact Third Riders. They're on another level. And I haven't even grasped everything the way I should have. It's a pleasure to hear your voice again. Congratulations. You've become the biggest winner of this festival. So where were you at the whole time? Are you calling just to poke fun at me? No. I'm just impressed. Not only did you venture alone into Penacony, and discover the truth of Dreamflux Reef. But you also managed to escape with the help of that Knight of Beauty. Oh, is that what his... Remember the recording you received from your Trailblaze friend? It's now the most valuable chip in this game. Recording? However, this came at a high cost. 
losing a cornerstone is a hefty price to pay. Diamond just called a meeting to discuss what to do with you. You're fired. Just as I expected. So is Diamond planning to demote me or kick me out of the Ten Stone Hearts? <laughs> Why don't you take a wild guess? Well, all right. Then I'll guess. He's going to promote me to P46. Promote? All right. What will you wager? Are we talking about a real bet here? I don't want to wager anything just to escape your clutches. So he knew Jay even when he was like younger. But if it's just a friendly bet, I'll put on the line what I did when we first met. I'll bet my life, ma'am. Dang. Interesting. But since it's Diamond's call, no one can predict the outcome. Turns out he got demoted at the 45. At the 44. And uh, he's, he's dead. I'm on my way to Pentagoni. Once everyone is settled, Jade, don't I'll come to here. Pier Point for the final showdown. Sounds like I'll be out of the action for a while. Finally, a chance to kick back. And relax. Don't ever come to panic, Oni. Yeah. Leave everything to me and Topaz, child. Thanks to you. Child? As soon as the Jade Stone was delivered to the family's compound, we finished up our preparations. The seeds we planted have taken root. Soon, it'll be time to reap the rewards. Hmm. Guess that passes again on our old position. The Minotaur Pass back in Bellabog. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Huh? Let's wrap it up for now. Looks like I've got a visitor here. R ratio? Boot Hill? Oh. So many surprises today. Didn't expect a Galaxy Ranger and wanted criminal to show up here. One who managed to take out two IPC members under the noses of our fleet. Do you understand what that means? Screw Wubba Boo, I just put him to sleep. Watch your language. Don't try to intimidate me with that nonsense. Besides, I've taken down more IPC lackeys than the residual value you squeezed. And I don't mind adding a few more zeros to my wanted poster. I have a question for you. Be honest, or I don't mind putting a bullet into your head. Tell me, where is a Swallow Snyder? Head of the Marketing Development Department. Hmm. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. That gives that gives us something to hold on to for 2.3. Holy! Oh, that's interlude. Okay. Well, my God, my goodness, the name of the city of the marketing IPC from the, oh yeah, as well, yeah, as well, though. I don't know why I was like in a cobble pot from Batman. Yes, as well, though, I'm, that's incredible. And I still have to go back and like gather more details about it because it was so long. I kind of forgot some pieces to it. But I can just say, just based off that ending, that was insane. What the, the sparkle trick in the beginning, discovering uh, Dream Flux Reef, discovering the, who the watchmaker really is. Robin and uh, Sunday conversation. That was actually pretty interesting. Boot Hill and his self-censorship. The trials. And then like to do all this and then realize it's you kind of did it, but there was a flaw. So you had to go back and do it all over again, technically or not again, but it was all like a it was all a dream kind of thing. Thank you. Jules had a great time on the express. The clock never stops ticking. And so we have to keep going and the trailblazing journey will never end. So he so he was the one that you can't ever see again. Do Still on Pentaconi? I have a favor to ask. Do tell. 
The victor bears the responsibility of victory. Finish me. And fly into the sky. We were supposed to fly into the sky together. <laughs> if only I could. I can't. Fading without a trace. Generous. The general's pages bear traces of what appears to be resembling Robin. Lost property. Let's go back to the entrance. New Echoes of War. She says she's going to be in blue. She's not going to be in blue, what? Oh, she's fine. She restores her composure very quickly and flashes a smile at you, even if her voice trembles ever so slightly. You don't look so good. Definitely my big brother's writing running. It should be one of his belongings, but the scripture, the Odes of Harmony, has nothing like this recording in it. And this red residue, so he really... Uh... It was a little off-putting because she was smiling. We were at the Dream Flux Reef. I had an ominous feeling that maybe our paths would not cross again. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but you know, his his plans and ideals were not good. I'm too confused to process them right now. All of us, you and me and your brother and all of us, we obviously have nothing but the but kind intentions to do the best we can do. But our countless kinds of acts only end up in tragedy. This world is really not very beautiful at all. No. Ooh, we can't always get what we want. We still have much more to do. The dream is on the verge of a collapse, and many sinister characters are raring to capitalize on the situation. I have to protect this place at all costs, collect all impurities, and turn it into something better. I'm, I'm sure someday would have wanted to do so. So we only found this journal, I don't think it means anything right now. My instincts tell me that he's definitely alive and well somewhere in this dream and looking for a new way out. The sky's where the birds belong. Maybe he's out there, I don't know. Hopefully he can change his ways, happy ending. I'll never back down, nor have I ever. To be here for now. Thank you for chatting with me for so long. I'm guessing the hounds have already discovered that I slipped out. Sorry, but now I have to return. May the harmonies light be with you. A faded card drops between them. Angle. Oh my God, the album. Someone's treasure. Multiple cards playing with series designed. Dream picture of the Alfafa, Alfafa Publishing House. To my dear brother, may our skies always shine bright with starlight. Nice. I'm glad that that's there because that gives you a little closure on that. Nice. But speaking of that, that was amazing. Uh, I need to definitely go back and look at some things. Maybe watch a couple of Cat with a Blue Hat videos once he releases some. Shoot. I uh, flunked on my Honkai Impact Third Knowledge. No, that was that that song that was playing. Oh yeah. Dang. I remember that animated short as well, but I didn't even think to connect the dots. Dang man, that's crazy. So I bet you the. Black, uh, the, not Black Swan. 
the Acheron and Black Swan trailer when they're when they're dancing, and they and she sees her constellations. That probably really was the Ryden May and Kiana on that roof. Dang, I remember that too, but I didn't even think to call back to it. For some reason, I play Star Rail as a new, like new IP, and for some reason don't. Despite there being people like Branya and you know Silver Wolf and stuff like that, I usually just kind of put this in its own realm. But I need to start resembling it back to Impact Third. They had me too. I thought it was over. I was like, you know, oh the end, it's all good. And then it's like, nope. Talk to Black Swan and get everything rearranged. Dang, that was good. They promote Star Rail, or no, they promote Hunk Impact Third with Star Rail. And then by word of mouth, they promote Genshin because everybody keeps saying Genshin could never. But people are saying Genshin could never. So then people go, wait, what's Genshin? And then they look that up and then they try and play that. And then, so no matter what, Hyoverse wins at the end. They win in, in, in every way possible. I know RHS was saying that this was like one of the best or the best quest they ever written. And honestly, I see why he said that after doing the last part. And honestly, you know why? Because like he said, it's from the Honkai Impact Third writers. That's why. <laughs>